Greetings again, friends. Today, I want to talk about distractions. Now, this is a common problem for each of us, and especially in this information and technological age where we are faced with many voices and media influences thousands of times a day. Now, during times of political elections, there is even more opportunity for distraction. And that's because there are ads and media that are out there that are promoting certain candidates. And so if you want to think more about that, you might go and look at that last video that I recorded, Why Vote? And be sure that you do vote and vote the Bible. Now, you could also go and look at the top 10 reasons why people don't vote, why uh, not vote, which was the video I did before that. But back to this topic for today, as we are talking about distraction, before I get distracted <laughs> into something else, uh, I want to focus on distraction, <laughs> interesting, to learn the lessons that you need to learn to help you to keep from being distracted and being the most focused. So I did, I did record a video about focus. So you should go look at that one. That one's called The Right Focus. And uh, that's one I did a while back. But uh, that was actually an expository sermon where I talked about that focus from Psalm 46. You can go and watch that and and I have a whole playlist of expository sermons, which you also could look at if you're interested in those sermons. But today, I want to simply focus on distraction, that is, that side of it rather than the focus side, and what it is and how it impacts us and how that can help us to be uh, less distracted and more focused. We will, we will look at this in a way that hopefully will help you. Now, to be distracted means that it is to be drawn away from focus, attention, or concentration on something. When you are distracted, uh, you are drawn away from it, and something, and it is most often uh, due to some kind of external stimuli uh, that, or, or possibly an internal fault, that uh, is a competing interest to what you should focus on. You are distracted when your mind wanders. Your attention becomes divided. Now, I did do a video called Pay Attention. So, maybe that would be one you'd want to go see as well. But distraction causes you to neglect important things, and it causes you to be less responsible. Internal thoughts such as worry uh, will certainly distract you, and external stimuli uh, such as the phone that is likely in your hand now will become a, a regular source of distraction. Uh, being distracted will impact your daily life and it'll impact your relationship, your work productivity, uh, and just your overall well-being. So overcoming distraction is what will help you to accomplish more. So you have to set goals and priorities and be able to manage your distractions in that you are self-disciplined. You do not let these things get your attention. Uh, you learn this by denying your feelings. We shouldn't live just by how we feel. That is a deception often, more often than not, uh, which is not what is taught in many movies and when it says to trust your heart and inclination. 
that's not what the Bible advises, and it's not what you should do. Uh, so living by your feelings is a mistake, and you should deny that to help you become less distracted. But since we are a Bible teaching channel, we should look to some Bible verses to understand this better in these lessons to keep us from distraction. And while there's a lot of verses we could look at, there's really only two verses in that version I primarily use here on this channel, the New King James Version. Uh, there's only two verses with the word distract or a derivative of that. And so let's look at these verses. Uh, first, Luke 10, 40. It says, But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. Now, this is a great lesson to learn, and we will look more at this in just a moment. Uh, but let's first look at the other verse that uses this word distract, which is dealing with the issue of marriage. That's 1 Corinthians 7.35. It says, And this I say for your own profit, not that I may put a leash on you, but for what is proper, and that you may serve the Lord without distraction. Now, the point that Paul is making in this scripture is that marriage is a good thing, but that it can be something that easily distracts you because there's a desire to please your spouse. And so he was giving wisdom about how to keep from distraction. And uh, the reason so is because you are pursuing worldly things to please one another. That's how that works. But uh, getting back to that other scripture where we can learn more from that distraction when Jesus was, was, was with Mary and Martha. Let's look at that verse that came right after that verse uh, and hear what Jesus said to when, Mar when Martha approached him. Uh, Luke 10, 41 says, And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. Now, worry and undue concern, it certainly does distract you. Jesus told her what would help her. Listen to this next verse, verse 42. But one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. Now, what is this one thing that Mary did and what Jesus told Martha that she was lacking? Let's go back and look at the verse preceding what Martha said in verse 39. Luke 10, 39 says, And she had a sister called Mary who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. Mary was paying attention to Jesus. She was listening to his word. Friends, that is the absolute best way to keep you from distraction to learn this lesson. We must keep our eyes fixed on Jesus Christ, who is our creator and our savior. And we must pay close attention to the Word of God, because that is what will please God and will glorify Jesus Christ. So let's look at a couple of the verses talking about this looking to Jesus. A great one is in Hebrews 12, 2. It says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Looking toward Jesus always helps you endure through any situation you may face, and it keeps you from being distracted. Jesus died on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins, for your sin that you committed against him and deserve death for. 
and he died and was buried, but he rose again to give eternal life to all who would trust in him. So friends, Jesus is your creator and savior, and you must keep your focus on him if you do not want to be distracted in life or in any other thing to build that discipline in, in whatever you do. Now, the Apostle Paul was one who accomplished much, and he also talked about this one thing. Listen to what he says in Philippians 3, 13 and 14. He says, Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, to arrive, but one thing I do, one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Paul kept his focus on the heavenly things, on the Lord Jesus Christ and the heavenly reward that Jesus would give him. And that is his one thing, just as Jesus told Mary about that one thing. Now, listen to a testimony from an Old Testament saint, King David. He says in Psalm 119, verse 36 and 37, this, Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to covetousness. Turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things and revive me in your way. David wanted to be focused on the Lord and on his word. And that is what helped him to be more productive and accomplish more. And friends, if, if you in your life want to keep from distraction, then you need to do this one thing, this simple thing that we're talking about here is the single most thing to help you with distraction. You need to learn from the testimony of Mary. You need to learn from what the Apostle Paul said his goal was. And you need to learn from King David and what he said and many other places in the Word of God that say similar things. Always look toward Jesus Christ and toward his holy word. Friends, like this video, share it with others. Please subscribe to this channel so more can hear things like this that will help them from being so distracted with all the other stuff out there and hit the notification bell so you'll be ready for the next video. Thank you for watching and keep looking toward Jesus to keep from all the other distractions.